Hello and welcome back. While I work on my next gaming video, I thought I would do something different um, and just demonstrate a small program that I have written in BASIC, which is the language used by the Amstrad CPC. Since my first two videos have been about the CPC, I thought we'd do another one. Um, now to write the program I, I used three tools. These are WinApe which is a Amstrad CPC emulator. It's a free program. Um, if you're interested in either playing Amstrad games or even doing learning about uh, coding, um, I highly recommend googling WinApe and downloading it. Um, it's quite cool that program. The next tool I used was Notepad. This is because it's the 21st century and writing code inside the Amstrad emulator isn't that easy in terms of handling of things like typos and stuff like that. And the last thing was basically um, a spreadsheet. This was just used to plot the positions on the screen. So. I'm just going to show you the code. So, we'll hide the one to begin with. Right. So, uh, OBS it seems to only allow me to allow me to show so many lines of the code. So I've split it across three files. Um, now I'm just going to go through some of the kind of main lines of the program. Um, if you're interested in just seeing the Final program you can skip to the end. Um, it's nothing particularly fancy, um, but this is, you know, is an Amstrad CPC, and I'm not really that good at graphics. Um, so, yeah. So in basic, um, you have to manually uh, define the line numbers. So that's why we have these numbers at the start of each line. Um, now the line numbers can start at wherever you want them to start. The only thing to note is if you they have to be in the order you want them to run. So here we go at line one. We're calling the function CLS. Now CLS is stands for clear screen. So when we first run the program, we're going to clear the screen. Um, feel free to correct any of the terms that I use because um, I'm sure some of my programmer buddies will. Um, not hesitate to correct me, so feel free. So the next method we do going to call is the border command. Now, the Amstrad CPC, if I just bring that back, is the screen is split up into three distinct areas. There's a border, which is, as the name says, is the border around the screen. There's the page, which is basically the inner part of the screen, and then there is the pen which is basically the characters on the screen. So, for example, if we wanted to set the border to be the colour white, we would do border 13. Well, oh, until I can spell. This is why um, the editor um, doing it in Notepad is a bit better. But that sets the as white as you are going to get. Um, that's the more grey, really, isn't it? But then again, I, I am colourblind, so you know, who knows? And if you wanted to make it yellow, I'm just going based on the book. Uh, I can't spell border. Apparently, 12 is yellow. Um, it's really more green. I think the colours are slightly off. Um, anywho, if we just clear that. So, that's what the border command is going to do. So the next command we're going to then do is call mode. Now, mode basically, sorry, you can probably hear me fumbling about the pages when you double check something. Mode changes the number of characters that and colors that can be displayed on the screen. So where is the 
So there you go. So number of columns. Um, so mode zero is twenty columns. Mode one is forty columns, and mode two is eighty columns. So if we go back to the emulator, if we do mode two, we now are at eighty characters per line. Um, eighty columns rather. Um, so it just allows for some more text and graphics to be displayed and mode 0 is 20 now default is 1 so we'll just do that um, so the next line in the code let's go back to the code is we're going to then set the pen so the pen is just the, the text we're going to set that to be 15 which according to this is orange, but I actually think it displays as yellow. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then now lines 10 to 40. I don't want to go into too much detail, but basically, all that's doing is it's looping through the data array, which is defined at the bottom here. Now, this array, oops, you can't see that. Now, this array basically contains. X and Y coordinates. Um, what's quite interesting is the CPC only allows so many characters per line, so you have to split your array across multiple lines. So as you can see, it's split across quite a few lines. Um, but basically, each one is an X and then a Y coordinate. Um, and all the loop does is it get it reads the first one, and then reads the second one, and then goes back around and reads the next one, and then prints the same out. Now, locate is basically setting the cursor to be the x and the y coordinate, and print is just printing the character. It's just doing as I always say what it says. It's printing the character to the screen. Now the character we are printing is one four three, which is basically just a little box, just a solid box, um, and that's it. Now the next line we can look at is this here. It's again, as I say before, it's just setting the cursor to be at this point, and then printing the words pro gaming. We're then changing the ink colour and the paper colour and we're playing going to start playing a wee sound now we're going to do this 22 so that means we're starting at position X, so X so this is going to be doing it in a loop but I want the loop to start at 24 because for each in that position, I want it to play the wee character. Now, the wee man, which is character 250, is going to walk. He's going to start at x24 and y20 and then finish at 54. And then when he gets to 54, he's going to go back the way. Um, and that's that. The call to the BD19, um, I'm not going to get into it. It's to do with refreshing the frame just to make it a much more smoother animation and so that's just him coming back the way again and that's basically it um, there's really not much to it uh, so what we'll do is we'll just copy this program and we'll go to an oh sorry just before I just want to show quickly the spreadsheet um, we just hide that a second so this is um, the spreadsheet I use to work out what points um, we want the text to display, the yellow box to be displayed. So as you can see um, here, is, this is a 80 column by 25 um, row grid, which is maps the CPC's screen layout. And because we want the text buttons to be displayed, um, we need to know what where to place our box. So in this case here, we can see that if we zoom in. So twenty five um, column twenty five row eight is where our first box is going to appear, and it basically we're just going through, and that's what each of those coordinates in that data array um, kind of represents. So. 
go back to the emulator and with the magic of technology I am going to type some code really fast So, we've now got our program loaded into memory and if we just clear the screen we can see that it's in memory by doing a list command and let's just list the program again So, to see the wonderful program we'll just hit run So, that's the wonderful program that was written displays the word buttons um, by plotting the yellow box the coordinates required it makes a wee man run at the bottom of the screen it changes the border colour um, every so many seconds and it displays pro gaming at the end and that's really it so if you enjoyed that video or even just um, didn't like it please please let me know um, thank you for watching and just for fun let's speed this speed it up and do super fast <laughs> Speed me giggle.